Today's definitely going to be one of those where you need a raincoat, a rain jacket, and umbrella because it was definitely coming down this morning. Oh, yeah, Dane, I know, and I'm proud of you for getting an umbrella. Thank I hope you. it's come to good use. Very exciting. Very fun <laughs> to use it. You know, when you, when you buy something, it's great to actually be able to use it, so I'm actually okay with the rain. I mean, good news <laughs> is not looking to be a washout. Yes, we're going to feel a little bit of some light rain here and there throughout the day, but not looking to be a big deal, but not going to be the best Wednesday for us. The time is 645. As you are stepping out the door this morning, be prepared to deal with a wet road. Thanks to the light rain that we have been seeing, the cloudy skies, and also you're going to feel it in the air. Temperatures are going to be cooler as they have been the last several days. Now, we have been tracking this line of light to moderate rain showers throughout the overnight hours on our KQ2 high resolution max satellite and radar. The good news is most of the rain now is over Highway 65 into Chillicothe, down south into central Missouri, over into Kirksville and northeast Missouri. For us here in northwest Missouri and northeast Kansas, we are just dealing for the most part dry conditions, cloudy skies, but I don't want to rule out the chance of maybe you feeling a light sprinkle this morning as this cold front continues to advance into the KQ2 viewing area. And in doing so, you're going to start feeling the cooler air moving in behind it thanks to the breezy northwest winds and also with the cloud cover and the rain chances sticking around for most of the day. It's just not going to be the best day overall for us. Right now, we are waking up to 57 in Mount City, 56 into Rockport, into Maryville, 57 in both Maysville and Cameron, 60 degrees right now in St. Joseph. So here is your Wednesday planner. I am tracking temperatures today to be below average thanks to the breezy northwest winds behind the front gusting up to 20, 25 miles per hour at times. Temperatures will only be going up to the lower 70s heading into the afternoon. And again, we're still going to have the clouds and chances of light rain as we go about our Wednesday. Now, here is your KQ2 allergy report. The good news is the rain has lowered our tree pollen for today, but unfortunately, Grass pollen is still at moderate levels, so keep that in mind if you do suffer from those seasonal allergies. Let's go ahead and break down everything for you for your Wednesday in your KQ2 hour by hour forecast. Once the cold front pushes through late morning, as you head out to lunch, you'll want to probably bring your lunch plans indoors because we're still going to have the clouds around. The northwest wind is going to kick in behind the front as temperatures will only be around the upper 60s to the 70 degree mark by lunchtime. We'll have some scattered rain showers out in our eastern counties. We will see a little bit more light rain heading into the afternoon after 3 o'clock. Temperatures again will be anywhere from the middle to upper 60s to lower 70s for the most part with the rain continuing throughout the afternoon into the early evening hours. By 8 o'clock we will start seeing the rain move out. We'll start seeing the clouds move out. Temperatures will be falling as we head into the overnight hours thanks to the clear skies. If we get any daytime heating today, that's all going to escape right back into our atmosphere. And look at this heading into our Thursday morning. Upper 40s, lower 50s. That is burr for June 13th. Actually, our record low in St. Joseph was 44 degrees set back in 1985. So we could be near that by early tomorrow morning. So you will need to stay tuned to KQ2 tomorrow morning to see if we hit that. 73 degrees for your high today with cloudy skies and a slight chance of rain throughout the day. And in your KQ2, five to seven day forecast. Thursday, yes, it'll be a chilly start team, but at least it'll be nice and sunny heading into the afternoon. Most of Friday's looking pretty dry, but heading into Friday night and into the weekend, Father's Day weekend, on and off again chances for rain. And speaking of Father's Day, we've got Craig Hayes coming.